Habiba al Marashi, you're the head of the Emirates Environmental Group, yes. and I understand that your current, one of your current concerns is trees. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Uh, you know, uh, UAE uh, sits amongst um, countries that have got uh, one of the harshest uh, environment in the world, and in a very arid region. Um, so it's very important for us all the time to send the message across about the importance of conserving natural resources, water particularly, and uh, to plant, uh, um, to increase the green patch, but at the same time to increase it on sustainability basis. So it's very important that you plant the indigenous trees. The kind of trees that uh, are natural Stand the here. salinity and the harshness of the weather and the scarcity of water and all those. Um, we have got a very strong waste management program going on for many years now. One of them is the waste and a paper collection campaign and recycling. So we wanted to connect between these two programs, between mm -hmm. the tree planting and um, uh, the paper collection. And we wanted to target a part of the segment of the society that maybe sometimes is um, oblivious of what is <laughs> going on around it. <laughs> kind of careless, yeah. <laughs> and that's the Facebook <coughs> audience, you know. So we launched this online project through the uh, Facebook called my, my tree in Dubai .com. We My Tree We launched it. Dubai .com. Yeah, Interesting. we launched it. It's a beautiful program. We launched it in uh, on the seventh of April, of February, and we are um, finishing it on the twenty fourth of uh, uh, April uh, to celebrate Arab Environment Day. Ah, right. And in it, we have requested our participants to collect a minimum of sixty kilos of waste paper bring it for us and then we guarantee that we will give them a platform whereby they can plant a tree that will hold their name in the Emirate of Dubai um, uh, on the but 24th. Are these trees in one place or, or all around? Yeah, we are doing it in, in association with Dubai Municipality and they have uh, offered, kindly offered the Mushrif Park. Mushrif Park is mm. a huge park, is one of the biggest parks that we have and one of the oldest parks and it is a natural park so it, it, all the trees that are there are indigenous trees. So they will be planting, the people will come and will plant the name and they will have these small placards that will be put on the ground. That's that is lovely. And that will the, stay there. Yes, that will be having their name. And this again to connect with um, the Billion Tree project that UNEP had launched a few years ago. As an NGO on the ground, we adopted that program and we facilitated the planting of indigenous trees uh, in the UAE since 2007. And we are very proud to say our efforts has re resulted in the planting of more than 1.6 million trees in the UAE. Perfect. And this will add another 200 to that list. How is your uh, Facebook page? I mean, are, are people visiting it? Uh, very much so, yes. Yes, it's very become very popular and we had the support of uh, good media houses, um, the seven days, the, ra the radio stations. Um, so it's, it's, it's really a word of mouth, schools, individuals, families, you know, everybody is, is geared to that. Um, and it became very suddenly very uh, nice and popular. It was uh, through a um, limited period of time. And uh, once we finish this one, then of course we'll look at expanding it, inshallah, in the future. That was my question. What about Abu Dhabi? Yes, we have already um, got all the w uh, sites uh, secured for my tree in Sharjah, my tree in Abu Dhabi, and inshallah we will do them in, in phases. Um, because I live in Dubai, you know, I'm from Dubai, so I start <laughs> usually um, any and project. And I live in Abu Dhabi, so I ask yeah. those questions. <laughs> no, but with me, I start everything, you know. Um, on experimental basis close home and once it's um, successful then I launch it all over the country wide Alhamdulillah for example our can collection drive uh, which will take place on the 8th of May it's all over the country and we had uh, one in the month of February uh, saw the collection of more than 5,000 kgs of aluminium cans and we are expecting to exceed that number uh, by leaps in, in, uh, in May and we are seeing very positive response by the number, judging by the number of uh, organizations that have compound participation, uh, by the support that we have received from the local media in sending out the messages and putting adverts on our behalf, uh, schools uh, coming on board. And that sounds really yes. like something very interesting and, and something fairly new here. Yes, 
Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. And as you saw in, in the cityscape and city build, we have got our bins uh, for the different recyclables. And every year we try to launch a new uh, recycling uh, program. We have got the mobile now, we're doing it with Nokia. Uh, we have the recycling of the Tetra pack containers, mm. you know, the juice containers, all that. Sure. And this was an issue that we were very keen on doing, but we had some logistical issues to deal with. And uh, thank God that has been sorted out now. And we are very glad that we have managed to launch it with Tetra Mina, uh, Tetra Arabia, and a local recycling factory that will take all the material and ensure that it is uh, recycled in a friendly way. And we have got schools that are, that are participating. That they will be the main benefactors of this issue. Yeah, I think schools are the key to it. Absolutely, I agree thank, with you all the Thank time. you so much. Thank you. <laughs>